This is the Music History Today podcast for October 23rd. On today's show, Sid Vicious tries to find a way out, Beyonce and Adele have new releases, and Katie marries Russell. First up, though, on this date in 1966, the Jimi Hendrix Experience recorded the song Hey Joe. In 1978, due to mental health issues, Sid Vicious tried to find a way out while being detained in prison in New York City on murder charges. He would try one more time before drug issues caught up with him three months later. In 1984, the BBC showed a TV report on the famine in Ethiopia, which inspired Bob Geldof to start his charity effort, first with the Band-Aid song, Do They Know It's Christmas, and then, of course, with Live Aid. In 1984, the Paul McCartney movie Give My Regards to Broad Street opened in movie theaters. In 1991, Rage Against the Machine performed live for the very first time. It was at Cal State in Northridge, California. In 1995, Def Leppard played three different concerts in three different continents as part of a publicity stunt. They played Tangier, Africa, then in London, and then took the Concorde jet over to Vancouver. In 2002, Kanye West was involved in a single car accident when he fell asleep at the wheel and crashed his car. The accident later inspired his song, Through the Fire, from his college dropout album. Also in 2002, a hostage situation at a theater building in Moscow started what would end in disaster when terrorists held hostages who were attending a musical performance in the Dubrovka Theater. Three days later, on October 26, the police stormed in, killing 50 terrorists but also killing 150 hostages when the police released poisonous gas into the theater. We go much deeper into this particular event on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped by the time you've heard my voice. You can find that podcast on this very channel that you are listening or watching this podcast on. Please like, subscribe, and do all that other sort of stuff. The algorithm loves you for it. Anyway, in 2005, rapper Cameron was shot during an attempt at carjacking. In 2010, singer Katy Perry married comedian Russell Brand. Didn't end well. And in 2018, the Queen biopic Bohemian Rhapsody was released in London, England. In classical music in 1919, Detroit, Michigan's Orchestra Hall, which was home to the Detroit Symphony from 1919 to 1939, opened. In 1921, the opera Kata Kabanova from Leos Janacek was performed for the first time. And in 1981, the Rogers Sessions Concerto for Orchestra was also performed for the first time. In theater in 1972, the musical Pippin premiered on Broadway. Albums that were released in the UK on October 23rd include in 2006 when My Chemical Romance released The Black Parade. Meanwhile, over in America, in 1970, Genesis released Trespass and Frank Zappa released Chunga's Revenge. In 1972, Al Green released I'm Still in Love with You. In 1976, Harry Chapin released On the Road to Kingdom Come. In 1979, Phyllis Hyman released You Know How to Love Me. In 1981, Sammy Hagar released Standing Hampton and Elvis Costello and the Attractions released Almost Blue. In 1983, Willie Nelson released Without a Song. In 1984, Janet Jackson released Dream Street. In 1986, Iggy Pop released Blah Blah Blah. In 1988, the third version of the Miami Vice soundtrack was released. In 1989, Terrence Trent Darby released Neither Fish Nor Flesh, a soundtrack of Love, Faith, Hope, and Destruction. Also in 1989, Roy Orbison released Black and White Night Live. In 1990, Betty Boo released Boo Mania, and Deep Purple released Slaves and Masters. In 1995, Ozzy Osbourne released Osmosis. In 2000, PJ Harvey released Stories from the City, Stories from the Sea, and Atomic Kitten released Right Now. In 2001, Incubus released Morning View, Tony Braxton released Snowflakes, Bush released Golden State, Government Mule released The Deep End Volume 1, and the Dave Matthews Band released Dave Matthews Band Live in Chicago 12-1998 at the United Center. 
In 2006, Martin Briley released It Comes in Waves, and PJ Harvey released The Peel Sessions, 1991-2004. In 2007, Robert Plant and Alison Krauss released their Grammy Award-winning album, Raising Sand. Also on that same day, Motley Crue released Carnival of Sins Live, Volume 1 and 2. Ringo Starr released Ringo Starr Live at Soundstage. Hart released Dreamboat Annie Live, and Neil Young released Chrome Dreams 2. In 2008, David Bowie released Glass Spider Live, and in 2015, Rod Stewart released Another Country. Singles that were released in the UK on October 23rd include in 1964 when the Kinks released All Day and All of the Night. In 1978, Sniffin' the Tears released Driver's Seat. And in 1981, Genesis released Keep It Dark. Meanwhile, in America, in 1967, the Beach Boys released Wild Honey. In 1970, Mick Jagger released Memo from Turner, and the Birds released Chestnut Mare. In 1971, Charlie Pride released Kiss an Angel Good Morning. In 1972, Bread released Baby I'ma Want You, and Neil Diamond released Walk on Water. In 1978, Gloria Gaynor released her classic disco hit, I Will Survive. In 1982, Billy Idol released his classic 80s song, White Wedding. In 1984, Janet Jackson released Fast Girls. And in 1989, Janet Jackson released her huge hit, Rhythm Nation. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 23rd include the legendary parody master himself, accordionist Weird Al Yankovic, country music superstar Dwight Yoakam, singer Miguel, Faye Hamlin of Play, Dale Crover of The Melvins, Wurzel Burston of Motorhead, Greg Ridley of Humble Pie, Freddie Marston of Jerry and the Pacemakers, Charlie Fox of Mockingbird, Ned Roram of Sky Music, jazz musician Sonny Chris, Robert Trujillo of Metallica, Tiny Tavares of Tavares, Barbara Ann Hawkins of the Dixie Chicks, songwriter Ellie Greenwich, Yvonne Staples of the Staple Singers, Jan Savage of The Seeds, saxophonist Ernie Watts, singer Drew Ramos, singer Stan Walker, singer MKY, and producer Deacon Phillip. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 23rd include composer Johann Naumann, who passed away in 1801 at the age of 60. Composer Franz Siedelman passed away in 1806 at the age of 58. Composer Ralph Ranger passed away when the American Airlines plane that he was on was accidentally attacked by a United States military bomber during World War II in 1942 at the age of 41. Jazz singer and actor Al Jolson passed away in 1950 at the age of 64. Composer Henri Zagwin passed away in 1954 at the age of 76. Pianist Dano Leedy passed away in 1964 at the age of 64. Rocker Tommy Edwards passed away in 1969 at the age of 47. Leonard Lee of Shirley and Lee passed away in 1976 at the age of 40. Country music singer Mabel Carter of the Carter family of singers passed away in 1978 at the age of 69. Pianist Jacques Klein passed away in 1982 at the age of 52. Opera singer Elena Nikolai passed away in 1993 at the age of 88. Pianist Alexander Kelly passed away in 1996 at the age of 67. Lyricist Adolph Green passed away in 2002 at the age of 87. 
Musician and actor Tony Capstick passed away in 2003 at the age of 59. Opera singer and actor Robert Merrill passed away in 2004 at the age of 87. Pianist Edward Cohn passed away in 2004 at the age of 87. Pete Nelson of the group The Flowerpot Men passed away in 2005 at the age of 60. Singer Alvin Stardust passed away in 2014 at the age of 72. Banjo player Bill Keith passed away in 2015 at the age of 75. Pete Burns of Dead or Alive passed away from heart issues in 2016 at the age of 57. Rapper Truett McKeon passed away in 2019 at the age of 21. Country music singer Jerry Jeff Walker passed away in 2020 at the age of 78. The conductor of the Czech Philharmonic from 1982 to 1990 and also the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic from 1987 to 1998. Libor Pesek passed away in 2022 at the age of 89. And folk music singer Cronus Adonis passed away in 2023 at the age of 95. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 24th, when in 1978, the movie musical The Wiz with Diana Ross and Michael Jackson premiered. <laughs> 